Hey folks, thought I'd make a little video here on these uh, Razor electric scooters which I picked up a few months ago from a uh, garage sale. As you can see, they're kind of, uh, they've kind of had a beating a bit and someone pulled them apart. This one doesn't have any uh, batteries. In fact, I think these are the batteries maybe that came out of that one over there. And uh, as you can see, their uh, oh, the tires are dead. This one's got a, a belt hanging off of it. Just let me come around there and show you. It's got the belt hanging off of it there. Tires dead. No, oh, this has got a bit of air in that back tire of that one. This one looks like it's all together though here. Oh, hell, tires. No, tires dead on the back of that one. That one's not too bad. You know, and um, this one, I think it even comes down. This one, I think it even appears to switch on. Yeah, it seems to come on, but oh, there's just. Uh, just like nothing there, she's just dead, so. My, then I have this one over here, this is a, this one's like an E300 or something, but this is, someone's pulled this apart and there's no controller in it. And it looks like someone's been trying to modify this thing, but anyway, what my attempt is to do is trying to get at least two of these bad boys running. Running out of three, I'm trying to get them working. And so I'm gonna go to work on these things. Actually, I might just start on, on this one over here. See if we maybe find a charger for it. As soon as we put this on charger, see if we actually get this run to start with, and then come back to this bigger one. And all right, so when I picked up these uh, Razor scooters, I actually had a box and other bits, and I managed to find this charger here. So I plug this charger in, try to plug it in the power point there, and then I plug it into the scooter like that down there. Now, the only thing I'm a little bit worried about is. Uh, um, that green light's on, which that says the charger thinks these batteries are fully charged, and they are not fully charged. As you saw before, it was dead as a doornail. So what I'm gonna do, I think, I think I'm gonna actually pull this apart straight away, and actually have a look inside of the Razor scooter, have a look at batteries, guess it's a couple of those little black batteries, and uh, I might do some actually tests on those batteries and see if they're, what the condition of those are, so. I might just go grab my uh, screwdrivers and start uh, pulling this thing apart. So I've got an Allen key, got my screwdriver. Let's start pulling this thing apart, see what we can make of it. Yeah, I think she's still on green, so she's not charged. Might as well just pull it out straight away. So let's start pulling this deck apart here. Make sure we keep all those screws so we don't lose those screws. Uh, this uh, C Tech battery charger here. Now, this is one of these smart electronic chargers. I'll just show that to you. Now, I found these in the past. These have got like a, a, a recondition mode. So, I'm just wondering if I can run this in the recondition mode. See if we can actually get these uh, these batteries maybe to come back to life. The recondition mode of these C Tech chargers actually removes the build up of sulfates from the, the lead plates. So I'm going to chuck that on recon mode. I'll show you what I'm doing, but actually, given that uh, the rain's coming in, it's getting a bit dark, I might actually do that inside. So I'll move to my setup inside. All right, so I've got the, the 12 volt battery here out of the Razor electric scooter. The one that was shining was fully charged, but it was clearly dead. And I uh, brought it inside out of the weather, and I've got my uh, C-Tech charger here. And what I'm going to try to do is uh, see if I can uh, run this in the recon mode. So the recon mode here on the charger. 
Um, we're supposed to remove the sulfates from the plates and see if we can get it back up a charge. But first of all, I thought I'd actually test the voltage on this. So I've got my multimeter here, it's set on DC. And I'm just gonna test the uh, test the charge, test the voltage that's actually currently sitting in that battery. So come across here, got the leads on. We see it's currently sitting there at 11.999 there. So what I'm gonna do now is just drop the leads on the on the battery there. So the, the negative there, drop the negative on, positive, drop the positive on there. Oh, what's going on there? All right, it's got the positive on, got the negative on, you can see that in there. Got the charger here, so just pop that on. All right, now what I want to do is chuck it in bike mode. You just kind of keep pressing this. So I've got that in bike mode and I've got that in recon mode. So that's actually going to put this through a charging cycle, which then actually, um, with these C2 chargers, It'll put it through a, a cycle of charge and discharge, rapid charges and rapid discharges, which actually um, tries to recondition that battery. And let's see how we go with this. Uh, I'll come back probably about an hour or so and check on and see how it's going. All right, folks, so come back to check on the progress of the recon cycle using the CTEC charger on my uh, 12 volt battery over the Razor scooter. As you can see here, um, clearly it's still on the uh, the uh, recon mode. That's number six. Got the manual here, and you can see uh, number six is there, the recon mode. So it's been going for about three hours now. So it's quite interesting. It's obviously taking whatever it's doing there. CTEC's taking quite a while, so I'm just going to leave that go. Um, don't really care how long it takes. Be interesting if we can actually get some life back into these uh, batteries. So yeah, it's been about three hours so far. I'll check back in on the progress. Um, keep you guys posted as to uh, how it goes. All right, so this CTEC charger has been going. It's been going for literally, I don't know, six or seven hours. Finally, it's gone through that, uh, through that cycle of reconditioning. And you can see that green light has come, come on, which correlates to, um, really to stage seven, which is, float which is really when it's finished charging there so um, let's let's just test this voltage now got the multi here for me to hear again grab those leads let me just you know switch that on there and take this off chuck this on here switch that on there Oh wow, look at that, we're up to 13.6, volts there, so. I've uh, run those batteries now through that uh, recon cycle on that CTEC battery charger, and let's just chuck these in now and see, see if it makes any difference. So, I've, uh, let's hook them back up, all right. So, they should get positive on the positive. That's just some sort of a 24 volt system um, that these Razor scooters run, two 12 volt batteries. And um, when I ran them on the CTEC charger, they only ran them on the motorcycle capacity. That's just a small battery. Let's just get that all up back there. Actually, I might just stand this one up temporarily while we see what's going to happen with this now. Make sure we get the, the polarity around the right way. So the, Negative on the negative there and the positive on the positive. And, all right, let's get that kickstand up and move these bolts out of the way here. And let's just see. All right, so she switches on and uh, let's see what happens when we turn the dial. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah! Yeah, so. Uh, wow, so that's definitely got some. Uh, some some kick to those batteries now, so that CT certainly looks like it's done the job. Let's just spin that around the other way there. So now, let's see if we can deal with some of the other issues on this chart, on this scooter. Well, first, I might put this back together and um, put the deck back on, put those batteries back in 
Flat by Phil. Much better. Oh, hold on, let's see if we can get some air in this back tire. Right now. Where's that valve? Oh wow. Huh. Look at this. I'm not even a valve sticking through. I reckon. I reckon this is meant to have a valve sticking through this hole here. I'll just get the camera and I'll show you there. Oh. I reckon it's meant to have a valve sticking through that hole there, so I'm still gonna have to take this whole rear rear back wheel off. And uh See if I can find, get the pass, see what's wrong with that tube there.
Oh wow, this thing looks like it's got a whole brake mechanism in here, which is also going to be removed. So I'm just going to go ahead and start pulling all that apart. So get this back wheel out of this thing. Have a look at that. There's no, not any sign of the tube in there. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna undo these Phillips head screws and see what we can find in there. There we go. All right, well, obviously those bolts just fall straight out. There's the little trim, there's the valve. I reckon the first thing we should do, pull this tube out. Let's pump this tube up out and see if it's actually any good. Oh wow. She's got a big. See there's a big split in that tube there. So let's chuck a patch on that and we'll come back and uh, see if we can get this all reassembled and see if we can get this Razor scooter going. Got my uh, tube, tube kit, got some rubber cement, got my dodgy tube here. I'm going to peel the back of all of this off here. Let's show you what I'm doing. Just peel that off. Let's peel that silver foil off. Get plenty of glue on this. I'm not even going to worry about peeling that plastic off. I'm just going to drop this other, other, other rock on top there to let him dry. I'll come back in I don't know, an hour or so. The patch on the tube there. That's been, uh, got a bit late yesterday, so that's, that's kind, of, kind of let that dry overnight. And um, now we'll pump it up and see if that it's actually going to hold. See if it's got all the holes, I suppose, out of the tube. Let's just chuck it on there. Right. Won't put too much pressure, just enough to see if it's all sealed up. Oh yeah, can't hear anything coming out of that. That's clearly got all the holes out there. Now that we've got this tube, tube fixed, let's work out how we actually get this thing uh, put back together. Obviously, we've got to make sure the valve comes through that little hole. Just 
cog. I should want to clean up to that cog while I'm here, get the, get the mud out on that drive cog. Stones in there. Yeah. Yeah, I just remembered in this box of parts I got there was this handy extender that I saw. That'll make it easier to hopefully to pump up this this tube in there. Because it's quite a tight fit, so I just screw that on the valve. I don't have to worry about pushing it on. The trick is going to be actually working out how to get all this brake mechanism back together. Oh yeah, I can see by the, I'll just grab that cam, by the rust mark, but I reckon that came in behind there. Yep, that'll line up perfectly. Then we go get that down there, see there? And then the, uh, the bolt and the spacer goes back through. So that seems to work. Only just one slight issue. I realise that the brake is not working at all. So let's have a look at why the brake's not working. I must have forgotten something. Oh, the 
brakes on this side. <coughs> oh yeah, I see it. Yeah. I remember now. Undid the whole brake mechanism. I undid this, loosen that off as well here. And that's obviously the adjustment for the brake. So obviously now when you pull it, it's just, um, you know, got no brake at all. So I need to pull that cable back through, tighten up this nut here, and then all will be good. So, one Razor scooter brought back from the death. So after a bit of a ride in the Razor, she's still got um, a bit of charge in. It's not completely flat, but I thought I'd just pop on the charger and just see, see if it will actually take charge now into these batteries that have been rejuvenated with that C-Tech charger. And I've just popped it on, and as you can see here, unlike previously, when that status light went green straight away, the status light's actually on red. And I'm pretty excited about that, because I reckon the red means it's actually charging now. So I'm gonna leave that, see how long it takes, leave it on the charger there. Um, I'd say probably about, maybe about an hour or so. I'll come back and have a look and see if that light's gone green. And um, yeah, see how it runs then. <laughs> 